Hey, what's up guys? Nick here with Overage Syndicate. And today we're gonna to be continuing this series. This is part two. We're gonna continue our training on the Overage Profitability Formula and how you can start you know, doing surplus funds deals and Overage deals, creating extra income from yourself while working from home and helping people along the way. So today we're gonna to we're going to talk about um, step two, which is the second C. Remember the formula is C4 plus P. So this is the second C in the formula, which is conduct research. Um, for me, in my opinion, this is the um, this is the fun part of the overage business or the surplus funds business because this is where we get to play Sherlock Holmes, so to speak. Um, we get to you know track these people down and give them the good news that they're owed money. And so for me, you know, I I love conducting research. I love you know you know, the, the chase, so to speak. I love the hunt, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> but I love, you know, this aspect of the business. Now, one thing I will say is it's important that you don't get too bogged down in this step because some people love this step so much that they'll just continue to research, 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 gather a bunch of leads, conduct research, and they never move on to the following steps, which is necessary in order to do deals and obviously create an income. So I just want to put that warning out there is when you're starting this business, you will probably love this step as well, but don't love it so much that you don't move on to the next step. So I see that rookie mistake happen very often. <clears throat> So moving on, you know, just a quick recap. We talked about in the last video how to create leads. That's the first step. Now we're conducting research. So once we have our leads, once we have our list of people and list of addresses and overages that's owed to them, now what we need to do is we need to find them. We need to track them down. And so this process of finding contact information for our leads is known as skip tracing. Skip tracing is just kind of the art and science of finding finding somebody or finding ways to get a hold of them. Um, that is what skip tracing is. It's a skill. You get better at it. You get better at it as you practice and implement it. Um, and it's kind of an art too. There's there's different ways to find you know contact info. And we're not going to go into all of those ways because that's too in depth for this video. But bottom line is you're just trying to find ways to reach out to your leads. And so you're just trying to gather phone numbers, gather current email addresses, current mailing addresses. So you can send a letter if you want. Um, look them up on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, all these other channels and see if you can reach out to them via messengers. Um, this process of finding all this data is skip tracing. Lucky for us, technology nowadays makes it easy for us to um, find this data. There's a lot of free and paid services out there that you can use that can help you complete this step. A free website that you can use is called truepeoplesearch.com is an example. Um, and just using the name and an address, you can gather a lot of information on folks. So. Why do you need to skip trace? Why is that important? Well, remember in the last video, we talked about the two necessities that each business, that every business needs in order to be successful. Remember that is one, get leads, two, close leads. And so if, if you've completed the first step, you have your leads. Now what you need to do is reach out to them and come to some sort of agreement where you help them you know, recover their funds, and then you're compensated for your work. Um, in other words, you got to close. That's the closing process. Here's the thing. Um, you'll never be able to get paid if you don't help someone. And you can't help someone if your client doesn't know who you are and what you can do for them. So that's why this step is so important is because this is – giving you the opportunity to reach out to folks and let them know who you are and let them know your services and how you can help them. Because if they, if they never know you um, and if you never find them, then you can't help them. You can't do deals. 
you can't earn a new income. Bottom line. Um, and so your success really in this business is critical to completing this step of conducting research and skip tracing. Um, there is one other aspect of this that I should mention is you need to do a little more research on the property that's sold. It's important to know if there are any other debts tied to that property, you know, other mortgages, um, other encumbrances or liens. And so the reason that's important is these debts oftentimes may need to be paid off. Some, a lot of times they're not paid off automatically in the foreclosure or the tax sale. And so it's important to know what those debts are so that you're not chasing a dead lead because there could be overage money left over but let's say there's you know a second mortgage for fifty thousand dollars and there's only forty thousand dollars in overage well then that's not a case you want to go after except under certain circumstances which i talk about more in my course so it's important to know again also do a little more research on the property that sold so you know all the debts that were associated with that property. <clears throat> um, and that's pretty much it. You know, that that's pretty much this concludes this step as far as uh, one, skip tracing, and two, doing property research. So on the next step, uh, what we'll talk about is the third C, which is contacting leads. And this is where the rubber meets the road. Um, this is where you actually get in the game. Because up to this point, a lot of people will easily do step one and two. But some folks, what I see happen is many folks freeze on the next step. They freeze at reaching out and contacting people. And so they never get in the game, so to speak. The next step is what separates the spectators from the players in this business, bottom line. We'll also talk about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, in the next video, how you can measure your success and determine your profitability using three key indicators. So stay tuned for the next video in this six part series and we'll see you then. Thanks guys.